All right, what's up, y'all? Um, welcome back to a special edition of Two Men and a Lady. We're doing it on Wednesday. Uh, is it Women Crush Wednesday? Yes. Or Women Crush Wednesday, WCW. So who would be my Women Crush Wednesday? It would be, oh, my gosh. It would be Gabrielle Union. And um, Gabrielle Union will be my Women Crush Wednesday. And let me tell you why, because she feisty. I, I would I would I would have her as my woman crush Wednesday. Who is your woman crush Wednesday, Couture Bay? Um, I like how you started it off with someone feisty. Um <laughs> Ariel Union. I love that. If I could pick a woman crush Wednesday, mm, I would go with who am I crushing on? <laughs> I would say Miss Coco Jones. Coco but Jones. Because yes. she is a child star. She's oh. an adult woman now. She mm. is doing big things. She mm. has a sultry voice. She oh. Can sing and dance. And baby, we seen her singing in the rain. So that means she can withhold any <laughs> type of pressure. So I'm crushing on Coco Jones. Coco Jones all day. Well, we did the show on Wednesday instead of Thursday because our sus with the braids on girl is going on vacation. I thought you was you got flewed out already because I'm like, oh, she on her vac I'm like, okay, she got hooked. This guy got money. Uh, now he got money. <laughs> I'm like, wait. She already on her vacation. <laughs> Listen, I am excited about this vacation. I believe everybody needs a much needed break. This is just something that was in the plans. It just happened to happen seamlessly because there's a lot going on. So I can go rest, recharge, break away from the internet and come yeah. back. And yes, I do got the braids. You know, black girls are only going on vacation when they got some braids in, honey. Woo! All right. Did the Stella got a group back? Did she have on braids? Yes, she did. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All yes. right. That's I want to be like Stella. <laughs> okay. I, I want to be, I want to be Whoopi Goldberg. Okay. Uh, cause that's one sick woman. She went like lovely tea up in the hospital. She went on vacation. Oh my she, God. she didn't go to the hospital since so she came back to the States. Now if that was lovely tea. She'd have been up. In the Bahamas, hooked up to some tubes and stuff like that. Some people are professional, love the hospital. Some people are addicted to the hospital because they ain't got no man. So the hospital is like they companionship. I'm just saying. Now, I know that's controversial, but I just felt that on my spirit. I'm ignorant. <laughs> I'm ignorant like that. Now, are we you have, calling her a hypochondriac? I, I, that's what you call it? Yes. A hypochondriac with well, lovely tea. That's a hypochondriac. Because I can guarantee she got a hospital clothes. A person that goes to the hospital a lot, it's a dick time. She got her hospital bag. And she be telling them to test up everything because she got some good insurance, the tea sippers. <laughs> That's me for everything. But she ain't telling the folks I'm at the Cardi B party, people kissing <laughs> on me, throwing drinks down on me, but she love that type of stuff. She, but because she claims she got everything in the book, but she ain't nothing but a hypo cash yet. There ain't nothing but a hypo, <laughs> hypo, hypo cash yet. You use that big word. Now we have a real estate strategist here, Don Johnson, is back. What's up? What's up? What's up? And we have Couture Bay. I mean, I'm just I'm, I, I work at Instacart. It's okay, Wiley. You can let the people know where I work. Instacart is good. I was going to tell you a government contractor and stuff. <laughs> I was going to be professional. Okay. But it's nothing wrong with Instacart, though, because um, for, people are making a lot of money on Instacart. And especially if you know how to do it right, they'll tip you right. And you, you know, yeah, if you do well, it. And you're in a good area, too. It all depends. Couture Bay, Couture, Couture Bay before. I don't even mean to interrupt, but I don't even know what Instacart is. I'm lost in the side. <laughs> could, you, could you please? No, 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 no. Could you please give me a brief dis uh, description? <laughs> you know what I mean? Kind of, and you know, you you still might, Wally, for real, you might have listeners and viewers who don't know what Instacart is and they were scared to ask the question. So oh, that's I'm true. asking it. I'm putting myself out there. Okay. <laughs> so, for me. Awesome. So Instacart is an app where people go on and buy all their type of grocery needs without having to go. Instead of me being the driver, I'm the stalker. I go stalk 
in the back all the products that they that they might be ordering online and i make sure in my good warehouse that i do a good job so that when the owner the good white man <laughs> me my time off i can leave and the reason why uh people know i work at instacart is because of t.s madison shout out to the queen how did she know that you worked at instacart oh she she told me right before she said suck my she said, oh. the car. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. She so she told, um, mm -hmm. uh, she told the people, told the world. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that. A coin is a coin. A coin is a coin. I, I have to bring this first subject up because last night we talked about it, and I want your thoughts about it. Uh, quiet on this, quiet on set. You know, everybody and their mama was talking about this um, documentary, especially the white community. Uh, that grew up under that that era. Um, everybody's talking about it. I mean, Dan did an interview with a black man. He apologized. Um, it, it just been all around bad. I mean, Drake Bell, he just came out to de uh, defend his co-star, Josh, because Josh was telling him to shut up. Or oh, he, he made a video talking about, shut up, we haven't talked. And they said, this is weird. So all the white people is dragging him. And then Drake came out today and said, no, he checked on me, blah, blah, blah. But what is your thoughts of, of this documentary, Couture Bay? Because I know you have a lot to say about it. Listen, as a Nickelodeon kid, um, it, it's really the pillar of my childhood. I really didn't get into Disney until um, the actual TV show, mm -hmm. until I was in middle school. But Nickelodeon, I remember that since early beginnings because they had the Rugrats, they had all the great shows. Mm. So to see that these children were taken advantage of, it just speaks to a, there needs to be a, a hard conversation about child stars being the breadwinners of their family and their families just doing any and everything because they can pay the bills. They can pay off mommy and daddy's debt. Um, then they feel like, well, I birthed you, so you need to do this. And then more things upon more things. I remember seeing Amanda Bond saying, I've been acting since I was seven and I have to beg for my money because her parents put her in a conservatorship. Um, it's, it's, it's tragic. It's sad. This is why I don't care if Britney Spears is running around here with sores and twirling in two small bikinis and no bra on because you aren't the money. So spend the money how you want to. It is not up to your parents and it's not up to you to keep taking care of your family if that's not what you want to do. You had to be in the rooms. You had to take those party favors. You had to sit there with uh, perverse men and women and allow them to do things to you. So... If you had to do all that to afford your family with a lifestyle because they weren't brave enough to do it themselves, then baby, they shouldn't get a piece of the pie. They shouldn't even be allowed to eat the pie. And I'm all for the child stars doing what they need to do, speaking out. Uh, Josh Peck wasn't the only one speaking out. It was the Ned Declassified was speaking out, it's crazy how it's given the West Coast versus the East Coast because people don't want to say nothing. And I think it, the best thing moving forward is silence. Be an Ariana Grande, be an Amanda Bynes in this situation. Be like the other troubled Nickelodeon stars who just rather just leave it alone because when old girl wrote that book saying she was glad her mother died, people dragged her and now they see why. They was comfortable with that fat, pale man being in a jacuzzi that was comfortable with a, a, a fat man being pen pals with John Wayne Gacy. It's not okay. And the fact that they just allowed their kids to be slaughtered like that, it really goes to show you when that money is in your face, when you are faced with adversity, the parents nine times out of 10, nine times out of 10 are going to choose the money. That 1%, they're going to choose their children, and, and then they're going to be ostracized. We, we've seen it on the show. And I feel bad. And that white woman who sat up there and let that man send his naked body, stroking himself, talking about, I want to get to know your nine-year-old daughter better because she was a pretty little girl. May you have no 
peace. May you have no peace. I send it over to Don. I yield the floor. <laughs> well, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it short and sweet. As short as I can make it, because this is a this is a touchy subject. And so could do if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? I am 37. Okay. So you are right up under me. And so um when I hear about this or when I I didn't I didn't have to see the movie to know that this was going on because I've been telling my daughters about this ever since they could watch Disney. Say, hey, at the end of the day, you have to know that there's no child star in history. In the history of child stars. That didn't. It's like this. Either you're going to be a junkie. Or you're going to die. But I'd be damned if you're alive and be able to tell the truth. And it's been like that my whole life. Look, when we came up, we were watching different strokes and all that. Look what happened to all them. When all of them wanted to break free from their parents, look what happened. Do you get what I'm saying? Look at all the little Webster. I can go on and on. All the little kids we saw coming up, going through this. And then all the Nickelodeon kids, every single last one of them, every single last one of them, either, either think about it, they're either junkies, right? They're either junkies or went through a junkie phase and then they kind of faded out of the way, right? Or rest in peace, they died. Or they're wacko. And those are the only three things you can be. Every single person who has played with this Hollywood game has suffered dire consequences. There's not one person in Hollywood who can't say without a doubt, without a shout over doubt that they didn't make a sacrifice and i mean that shit literally listen toby mcguire was the only one who was able to but but his mother was there and she wasn't having it so because she wasn't having it look we only seen toby mcguire in like eight movies eight really good movies and then we didn't see him until recently i was like wow toby's in spider-man yes but you're you're right they do ostracize you um Wiley, you spoke about that too. Remember the the what's his name? Uh Kieran Darren, the the black boy. He had a he hated his mom because she protected him. He had his, you know, he had he his mom. What's going on? He didn't know because he was a child, it's up to the parent, just like Drake father knew and saw that pedo amount away. He saw it. And what is so disturbing that parents, particularly white parents, they're more open to pedos. They're more free going black people. We find something most of us, other, we find it weird when a grown man is too involved with a six year old or a seven yeah. year old or a 10 year old. We find that quite weird. Because at the end of the day, Wally, I'm sorry to cut you off. Ain't nothing a six year old can do for a grown ass man. Right. Period. Like when children come, when adults are around, you sad. But when kids get around, you extra excited. That's weird. And this is why a parent, particularly women, and also the father, particularly women, because I'm speaking from a single mother household, you can't be so compromised in your mind that you lose to being the security officer, being a front line of defense, as well as the father. Because you, for your children, it's the children and you. You get compromised, baby, I got your children. It just so for me, I just think that parents, this one particular story, it just still I can't believe it that this mother of Brandy, this little girl, was emailing this PA. And the mother don't find that weird. And then she didn't find it weird until the girl cried, ran to her room and said he sent her pictures of himself doing things. But as a mother, why would you want? A, a child to email a grown man that's not the father not the uncle not nothing that's what i don't understand a lot of these parents they don't want to admit it because the camera's on you wanted your child to be a star because you want to get out of being this poor white trailer trash status you want to be high earning 
uh, white woman. And you sacrifice your daughter. Now, you're not going to admit it. It take a real person to really admit that. But that's what you did. Because if this was anybody else, you probably would have said no. But because this person represent Hollywood, you, hey, talk to him. You know, get him in there. Get, get, get in there. And that's why a lot of these parents, they did. Because a lot of these kids were breadwinner. Let's be clear. They were paying the mortgages. They were paying the cars. A lot of these parents would, would never, ever be invited to the set. Only reason why they was invited is because of the children is the star. It's sad. It's sick. Thank God to that black woman. And the little boy kept saying, I wanted to get my parents out the hood. I wanted to get my family out the hood. But that mother didn't sacrifice her economic status and sacrifice her son and be like, okay, go ahead and just do my son. She, she would have took it. But she saw it and she couldn't handle it. And that spirit, that devil, and those demons said, that black woman got to go. She's disrupting the flow. She's difficult. We don't want you to call it out. Of course we're going to do this. You calling it out. You got Ooh. to go. And they fired her. And so the son, he still disrupt because subconscious, and this man don't want to admit this, Hello. he still want to be in the industry. He still blame his mama. He would rather take it because he wanted this next success. But let me tell you, it ain't too many black Disney stars. Raven is one. How many people had that Raven Simone status that match her status black? How many black men that is a Keenan mm -hmm. from a child star all the way? It's not many. You can pretty much name them because it's just so, it's just a few. So I don't think that brother would have had a very lucrative career unless he would have dropped the draws. It was this white, and I'm going to say this in closing. I was watching this on Instagram. And this white comedian said, I got my special because somebody gave me fellatio and they gave me my own special. Who said that? I, I don't know. This was white comedian on my timeline. And the host was like, yeah, I, I thought everybody knew that happened to you, that somebody gave him fellatio in order to give him his own special. And he's white. So if he's white doing, what do you think the black, quote unquote, Black comedians go through to get this to get those. Richard Pryor went special. through it, bro. Richard Pryor, but, went but Richard Pryor was already freaked out. Like he was raised in a whorehouse. See, I'm a Richard Pryor. It, his what, grandmother. What, was what I'm saying is, I mean, what I'm saying is that you play to the point. Okay. At the end of the day, they had to. They still put a black face behind it. Like even in his comedy, he would say what he did, and oh yeah, I sucked the dick, and da -da -da, and he was serious. And they used to laugh, ha ha, but he was exposing the truth on stage because that's where he was comfortable. You yeah. get what I'm saying? And so, I, yeah. And so he used it against them. It's sad. It, it's it's so sad. But woo, that that to me is is quite disturbing. But, but people are still gonna rush to go to Hollywood. Like I said, we have YouTube creators that you're gonna see them now, and I'm gonna prophesize this. Give it about a couple of years. They're going to come back crying and hurt. Look at Spoken Reasons. I don't want everybody to Google Spoken Reasons. And I want you to watch this video of Spoken Reasons when he went to Hollywood. He, he was talking to the power brokers. And look how they destroyed him. Look how they stole from him. Any creator. And so when I look at that, I don't get discouraged. I, I start getting my business in order. Because if you go not knowing and you just naive, you're going to get touched. You're going to get violated. You're going to be like the slave master. You're going to be guided up to the room, and everybody know what you got to do to get that a piece of a part, because you're not going to get the real wealth. You're just going to lose your manhood, your dignity, your respect, your everything. And that's what I have to say about this whole choir. It was disturbing. Tasha put me on to this. Tasha Nicole, she said, well, you got to watch it. It was I was greatly disturbed because I'm like, this is sick. And Couture Bay, I it ain't gonna stop these parents. Some of these parents were putting their kids, sacrificing the kids for a coin. They still gonna do it because Hollywood is still packed with people auditioning with their kids. Oh, kids auditioning for parts. Listen, I knew Hollywood was treacherous when I saw the first Marilyn Monroe movie. It was back in the 90s, and the things that she 
said she had to do. She didn't have to do. She was forced to do because it was a different era. And she told the, the man she was on her monthly. And he said, I don't care. Get on your knees. So the 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 assistant who knew she was getting set up like that, the, the man's assistant, she uh, was hiding out in the bathroom. So when Marilyn Monroe came in the bathroom, she said, am I a mess? She said, no. And that's why they that's why they don't call her derogatory names and things like that, because she was put through so much hell. A lot of those women were a lot of those kids were, you know, they didn't have a voice. Now they have a voice. The fact that Tebow from iCarly decided to interview Dan Schneider, you you want to be in his good graces so bad. And to me, it sounded like he wanted to set his son up to be a part of the bloodbath because what will possess you to want to interview him and that's why i said i didn't respect that sit down uh he turned the comments off because you're weak you're not really a real man you are a defender of dan and if you want to do that that's cool but understand your position so it was crazy to me it, it really was and speaking about it let's get into r kelly um another man um, in the business. And let's be clear, R. Kelly is out uh, with, he said he want to sue uh, because they took and garnish his uh, commissary and he got to pay his um, legal bills with it. And Couture Bay, what is your thoughts? Do you think that R. Kelly, do you th agree with them taking his uh, commissary for honey buns and donuts and, you know, McDonald's, foe for foe, you know, you can get pretty much everything in prison now, booty bumps, et cetera. <laughs> Listen, I feel like this, even though he is in prison, he still deserves to be able to get his money. That money was given to him. Mm -hmm. And I said this when they did the mute R. Kelly thing, I said, if you mute R. Kelly, how is he going to pay the victims? If you can explain to me how the money is to be paid to the victims who are black, by the way, there's one white girl and the rest are black. How are y'all going to get the money? And then when it, when push came to shove, they weren't going to get anything. They couldn't get anything. They're begging the his the powers that be. The powers that be are like, well, that's not our debt. And see, that's why I said everybody was a crusader for him to be in prison. But they didn't think about the, the healing aspect. That costs money. Therapy costs money. Um, making sure that you're good because R. Kelly's fans are delusional, deranged. We've seen the women getting arrested, the men getting arrested, they setting cars on fire, blowing things up. People have to pay to be out of the, the spotlight of the fans. If a fan can just walk up to you and cause some type of harm, baby, you need money for protection. And these people was over there being sent to Robert. We, we already know what it was. They they turned a blind eye because he sing real good. Oh, he can sing so nice. Listen to the vocals. Oh, my goodness. I love to dance. Ooh, that R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, he, he like them young. I, I got somebody young for him. Go over there with Mr. R. Kelly. He's a night. He can make you a star. That's what they tell themselves to sleep good at night. Yeah. Turning mm -hmm. it over to Don. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. I mean, uh, you know, he from Wiley Town, so I, he's from Chicago. He's so uh, you know. I wish I wish my mother would have got pregnant by him, to be honest. Um, let's be good, they're the same age. Let's let's be crystal clear here. He's very talented, he can <laughs> sing, he's an artist, but he of course he's a pedal. But how many of our fathers are out here doing what R. Kelly doing or worse? I mean, it was a culture. Um, thing culture that was going on back in the day and a lot of people from that generation really can't call out R. Kelly because they was at the schoolyard they was at the McDonald's with the young girls I mean Don from the 80s and the 90s that was the culture them high school girls dating adult men yep. so even when I was it. in high school they used to have you know them sugar daddies coming we used right. to have sugar daddies like you said I'm, I'm being dead serious man like you it was girls 15 16 how dudes you know this dude, 26, 27, got the car with the rims, got the got the got the music in the trunk, selling dope. You know what I'm saying? Coming through, say they show is going and getting in the car with him. And you exactly. Know what I'm saying? And I, when I got on 
when I when I watch when this thing with R. Kelly, first and foremost, I'm a huge R. Kelly fan. I will never stop. It's a Chicago thing. That's like Oprah, R. Kelly, Jesse Jackson, Minister Farrakhan. That's that's just black royalty, right? He's still in that in Chicago, right? We still gonna stream him. I don't I don't think people understand the power of R. Kelly. It's impossible to mute him because he wrote and produced so many records. His catalog of just writing credits will just shock you. You can't, it's impossible to mute him. It's impossible. He, he, he wrote too much, too many hits for us as a culture. Now, as a man, sick, demonic, and I blame himself. I blame him. He's a system of the ring, but we did not get the ring master. He's a, just a, a, a symptom. Where's the white people that was a part of this? And the reason why R. Kelly is still breathing is because he's not talking. R. Kelly can make about close to $50 million in a tell-all book. He can name names. He can name artists that we currently look up to. He can have a podcast, but he know if I start speaking, I'm gone. I'm going to be just like Epstein, out of here. So, because everybody kept saying it's R. Kelly, but it was white producers and backers that fund the operation. Yes. Go after the money, people. Not the front. He's just the front man. Who well, that's them? I hate to cut you off, Wiley, but that's why they're going after so many black men. And if you notice, that's they're true. not turning over their predecessors. The they're people not. who um, showed them the ropes. We're not dumb. R. Kelly was very buddy-buddy with Clyde Davis. Yeah, Clyde. Diddy, Clyde Davis. Quincy Jones. Quincy Jay-Z. Jones. But Quincy Jones is not the top. That's not the top. If you get Clive Davis, then you get all of them. But they can't get that old man, that old world locked because even it's other producers like Clyde Davis, his friends that been in there. When mm-hmm. you go to the click, even even when you pull the layers back. With just the design of hip hop, when they switch it from good music, conscious music to like gangster rap, that did not happen just by a coincidence. It was by design. But we never go right. We never go after the architects because a lot of black folks are just not that conscious and aware of the devil. We just go after his follower. But get the head, and then everything his kingdom will completely fall. That's why I respect Jesus. If you believe in the Bible, in this aspect, he went toe to toe with the devil and won. So go directly to the sword. I, I, you are just a sister. Let me go to your father. Call out the father who trained R. Kelly to do this because he was trained. He knew he got away with it for so long. It was judges that was a part of this, prosecutors, police officers from every level. And they was okay with it because R. Kelly made Sony and his representatives billions of dollars. Billions. So they were okay with him screwing, especially black girls. We don't give a damn about black girls, period. We gonna, they going to share with the party when it come to that. And so it's like more and more and more. But I am sad that, you know, his children have to deal with this. But what about the victims? But R. Kelly had to understand you have a lot of debt. He made a lot of bad business moves. He got used like typical like black stars. You too busy trying to be sick and demonic. We're going to feed that energy while we screw you on the back end. He don't own his masters. He don't own his publishing. R. Kelly should be sitting on billions. There's no way in the world that he, they have to garnish his honey bun fund. That to me don't make no sense. You mean (laughs) it's flaming hot fun? We got to snatch it. That's how poor you is. Yo, honey, like, that's because of bad. But you were so busy on 14-year-old Yoni, like Larry Reed, and that's 14-year-old Pete, like Larry Reed, Petal Reed. Um, and you're getting used. At least Larry, he's a dangerous type of pedal because he's intelligent and smart about his business to fund his pedal operation. He used it to church. So... And I can't say allegedly because if he ain't sued Tasha, when Tasha said on comedy hype, he can't, he ain't gonna waste his time. So, why? <laughs> so I, I just want to say to R. Kelly, my last point, I would love to buy his life rights. I believe he need a biopic 
And I don't want it just one part. He need multiple parts. I just want a good movie. Talk about the ring, the fun, his sister, his mother. I want to go deep with this R. Kelly story. So it'll prevent or, or show people like the reason why people become pedos. Look at Drake. I heard allegedly Drake Bell was texting a minor inappropriate things. They said in a documentary because well, they, they said that, but when it, the girl came okay. out and said he lied. She oh, lied. so she, she lied. Okay. But I'm not shocked because Larry Reed was violated as a child and he became his, he became that what violating him as a child. Same thing with R. Kelly, his sister violated and the neighbor. May she rest in peace. Blue skies are, are, are I mean, B scales was our moderator and we were covering this documentary. And I, I, it was the neighbor that violated R. Kelly and his sister. And it was so sad. And I think the neighbor paid the mom some money to keep quiet. So R. Kelly should have had help then. But you got to understand, poor black folks, therapy wasn't on the priority list because we couldn't afford it. And then secondly, we wasn't that aware. It still could be argued today. We were not aware about therapy. We still to this day don't prioritize our mental health as a as a community. So for him to be violated so young, he needed severe. He needed therapy, and I think he tried to get help, but it was too late. He turned himself over to that evil, and he couldn't get out of it even if he tried. He was in it too long, and then he started getting the HPV, the bumps, like Larry Reed, and gave it to the victim, and then the victim sued him, and he started getting nasty, smelling like doo doo, telling people eat doo doo. He got more extreme, extreme, extreme. But everybody was quiet once the money was flowing. Yes. Once the money dried up, you know what, detectives? I got a box of VHS tapes in my garage. <laughs> I'm turning them over. But long as he was doing it, long as you was getting your big fat checks, long as he was saying, I believe I can fly, we good, baby, flying that 14-year-old with that urine. But when the money dried up, that's when he went down. It's Ooh. just that simple. He lost his influence, and the influence is money. Once your money dry up or you piss off somebody that's more wealthier than you that wants you gone, that's how it all play out. And it's so and, and they do it with documentary. It's a different style. Now, usually back in the day, they write it in the newspaper. Now they do documentaries about you like they doing about Dan. Dan pissed off somebody. And Dan Day is almost it's, it's over now. But it, it happens that way. But is it going to stop R. Kelly? Is it going to stop these new R. Kelly's? No. Look at Trey Song, allegedly. They saying Trey Song's getting it in. They say Chris Brown violate women. They say, was that uh, Mr. Simmons, the one that's out here supposed to be doing some yoga? He was out there violating people. Like, they said uh, Snoop Dogg, allegedly, or, or that was a rumor. Tupac, and it was a rumor. I mean, we can go on and on and on and on and on about these R. Kelly of today's society. It will never stop. You will always have people evil like Bill Cosby. Um, now he pretended to be blind. Now R. Kelly, <laughs> he can't read. Like, they get all these extreme disabilities. But they want blind when you want the putty putty and them the putty pepper. And then when they want your putty putty and just snatch it. And the uh, what was the quaaludes? Now, you, now you're blind. But and the, it's just like, I just really. But people was giving their daughters to R. Kelly. These women to Bill Cosby, they went and did a meeting at three, four, some in the morning, two, some in the morning. Because they wanted to be soup. They not going to admit it because they old now. They got to flow. He just took, baby, you wanted to be a superstar. And if he would have gave you that type of power and married you and gave you top, you just you to shut up, you wouldn't say nothing. It's because you didn't get it. Most of the people that come there has been struggling people. Now, this is something I can use as my insurance card to say I was violated by R. Kelly. I was violated by like what's the other sparkle? What's the lady name? Well, her cousin? Sparkle. She she and she trying to blame oh my lady. you gave your niece because you wanted to be a star you want to be the female r kelly with music and grammys and then now you struggling i'm gonna join the bandwagon yeah he did it in my family so you gave him to your niece how did he get her you gave her to him you was in the studio you didn't give a damn you wanted to be famous i don't think people understand what the, the extreme measures that people would do for F-A-M-E. They will do 
anything for that fame because it comes with wealth, they think, and et cetera. But I do. And his wife, that struggling dance with them veins in her neck, all them stupid cry. She had a plenty 14-year-old box. She had played with plenty 14-year-old boys. All them fake tears that she be crying. Ain't no way in the world you didn't know none that was going on. You participated. That ain't nothing but just guilt. And you don't want to go down, so you sit there and cry. And I'm saying with them ugly veins in your neck, you struggling dancer. And then you was bragging. I'm R. Kelly. I love, I'm I always be Mrs. Kelly. Now you want to go on tour or crying tour. Shut up, heifer, and go to the pits of hell, you low down, dirty demon. I'm sorry. Go oh. ahead. That's what she is. Cause she needs you can't tell me you got a whole just like Larry Reed wife, ex-wife. You can't tell me Larry doing all that. You the wife, he come rib and it's one rib, one wife. Y'all can join together. You don't know nothing. Damn it, you a damn liar. You Ooh. know he was doing it, and you complicit. That's why your hair falling out. That's why your health is struggling, and you want Larry to croak up out of that because you the beneficiary. You get all the wealth. But it ain't going to survive because it's going a lot of that stuff going to go to his medical bills. And he looked dead as he come. Let me say this in my clothes about Larry. Because I seen you with William McCray, another dead man. You up there trying to make up with William McCray because you don't want him to drag you in the gospel community. Both of y'all just plain on evil. You look dead and William McCray look dead. And you still evil? You still a pedo? And you still need to repent for and thrown in prison for what you did to Levantre. You can see it in your face every time I think of Larry Reed and I turn the money down. Let it be clear. I could be getting the money. I turn it down because that man is a whole pedo and he like 13-year-old boys, 14-year-old boys, or Armand Wiggins' cheeks and want him to put on little boy draws. But go ahead, Couture Bay. I'm done. I yield. <laughs> I yield back. Listen, you're spot on about this R. Kelly mess. Look, they were like, well, the goose is good for the gander. Uh, I felt all the people should be locked up. It was too many acceptable things. And I want y'all to understand this why I say this. I have been in several studios. In order to get in the building, this was in the early 2000s. So I can only imagine what it was like in the 90s because they had security then. Shout out to the people who got reined up on and pow pow. You have to have your ID. You can't be snuck in through the back door because the back door is secure. Somebody has to see you. There's cameras everywhere. Nothing gets missed. Do you understand? That's how they be knowing what these artists are into. What yeah. they like to do. What are their hobbies? What's their fetish? Because they're watching. There's always someone watching. So for them to act like they didn't know lies. Yeah, they know. They knew. Of course. They they knew. And it's sad that everybody want to be politically right. Don't know why they want to go down. Everybody dissed for R. Kelly. Everybody was doing music from Usher, from Jay-Z. And they even saying about Jay-Z about to go down about a couple of more months. Somebody just sent some in my DM. They said, well, in a couple of more months. There are about to be some serious allegations about Jay-Z, and they're talking about lawsuits. Like, and Jay-Z. And they're saying Beyonce trying to do all this albums and she trying to do country, rock and roll, because she know Jay-Z about to go down and she know that's going to be the end of my career because I'm going to go down guilty by association because, you know, you in too deep. So they're, they're saying in about a couple of months, someone just sent me the DM, in a couple of months they said, Jay-Z, you about to hear some major things about Jay-Z and he's going to lose his NFL deal. Because it's going to be so major. And I was like, oh, my gosh. This is, well, I'm not shocked because he was there with R. Kelly, too. So I'm not shocked at all. But they're saying about a couple of months, uh, 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 Jay-Z is about to go down, too. This How is come it's all these black men going down and not the white men who was part Because it's the white society. The, 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 the white people own media. We don't own nothing. But, but Wally, you guys are forgetting one thing okay. that ties all this together. It's because they had to give up Weinstein. Weinstein. Oh, yeah. yeah. They had to give up because he was their number one. Remember, you talking about three levels of this. You got Hollywood, right? For the adults. And then you got Nickelodeon, Disney, and all that for the kids. And then you got entertainment. Remember, in the entertainment industry, 
It's the same kind of word or rituals. You get what I'm saying? Remember, at the end of the day, they had to give up the Grand Wizard of Hollywood. Mm. And so because the wizard went down mm. and the Epstein list, now everybody on our side, now you got to paint that picture in our community because we don't reveal them too much from that goes on behind the scene in theirs. Mm. So now they finna lift the veil on ours. And they about to lift it. They about to, they about, they about, they about to lift it. I'm, I'm here for, um, and I want to say this, you know, to the people that's out here watching, um, when I saw, uh, Minister Farrakhan, you know, pretty much said R. Kelly need to get help. You need to stop doing what you're doing. I knew it was the end for R. Kelly because mm-hmm. they tried to broker a deal, him trying to be Muslim and try to get counseling. And he told R. he told R. Kelly in order for you to get away, you got to stop doing what you're doing. He didn't want to listen. So he, of course he went down. That was back in before. The doc way before the documentary, but way before all this, R. Kelly had multiple chances to repent. He still want to do it because it's a sickness and it's a disease. He got caught and he didn't get delivered early on. Now he's just going to pass away from that. But we do want to talk about two queens, um, two big ones, uh, one Popeyes, um, these two people, okay? Saul Santana and Zale, okay? I'm not, <laughs> okay, okay, Popeye Eden. I'm not talking about a Zale of the pay. I'm talking about Zale with that hair and them. But on Love and Hip Hop, they were arguing and they broke up. And first of all, when I saw saw Santana in that dingy shirt, like he was paying no eating, um, they broke up on Love and Hip Hop. Now, Couture Bay, I'm trying to understand why did they not throw hands? They was arguing. Is it a no hand policy on the show now? They didn't throw no hands. <laughs> Only thing he was just hitting the table and arguing and stuff like what? I mean, what? do you want to see two bush queens fighting? Well, if he hit her with a chicken wing, that's entertaining. Why not? They need to compete with Zeus. If this was Zeus, he'd have been rolling around on the floor. You'd have saw his jelly rolls because you've seen so many parts of Roly Poly. That's the reason why she lost weight because she saw every inch of her body and she was so- <laughs> Look, I feel like this. Um, <laughs> I I don't want to see the gays fighting each other. Y'all have enough violence in the community as it speaks. And <laughs> just read each other down. I mean, anybody who knew anything about this relationship, they were not going to work. Zell said he wanted to be with the woman and have a baby. So that is not in Saucy Santana's plans. He wears uh, nails, makeup, Chanel, all the girls' clothing. This is why you can't find your size in the store. He's shoving his big foot into the female shoes <laughs> so that you can't get your pair, you know, limited editions. And he's buying up all the Chanel's. This is why, ladies, the price have went up because the boys are wearing your clothing. But at the end of the day, I'm glad they didn't swing hands. Don, as a hetero man, how do you feel about it? I'm with Wally. I watched it. Because, because you know, he sent me the clip. But I've been knowing about Saucy Santana because, you know, my daughters, you know, they follow City Girls and they hip-hop fans like me. I didn't know about the Zell guy. But looking at it, um, I thought they were going to throw hands. And they didn't – because I'm thinking of love and hip-hop. I'm thinking it was going to be some drama like Jocelyn and them. You know what I mean? Like, something happened. But just hitting up. But, but I agree. I agree. At the end of the day, either you're going you gonna to move on or you're not. You get what I'm saying? And so – I don't I mean, know, man. I just thought they was going. I, I, it, it, I thought they was going to throw hands. I thought it was going to be some drama, drama, but it, it was, it was cordial. So yeah, it was cordial. And then my thing was saucy. It reminded me of myself, not the Popeye eating, but just admitting to your boyfriend. Or, uh, I cheated. You no, know, it be. I, I was ignorant. I told every guy that I cheated with. I wanted to marry every guy. I was a whore, and I at least I was honest about it. I didn't care. Like, what's the reaction? At least I was honest typical type of black man that's what black men do we are we're selling our mind at least i told you i didn't keep it from you but it's still wrong you still cheated but when he was talking about the career you got this just because of me saucy that town the reason why you on loving hip-hop like erica banks y'all both couldn't make it in the music industry no more you all took a backwards cardi b move cardi b did the poll she gave a little of that yoni to the good producers Baby, okay, you mainstream. Y'all went backwards. Y'all went to the music industry, couldn't really eat the charts up. You eating up Popeyes. Money was getting funny. Loving hip-hop. 
That's like one upgrade from Zeus. Loving hip hop. That's you training them, loving hip hop. The next thing you know, South Santana, you going over there to Zeus full time. So this is the only storyline. We can't talk about your music, how impactful it is. We can't talk about your fashion labels. Don't rock it. Look at the glasses you got on. You don't own nothing. So you're just an oversized, feminine man, Chanel's perfume spray, chicken grease, and you're just acting a fool on, on te that television. So Little Lies X will never. Ooh. Number one, Little Nas X fit in that mold. He's attractive, physically fit, and he's not trying to be a woman. When Matt Saucy Santana up, and the reason why he's struggling on loving hip hop, when he kept telling his female fans, I'm a F your baby daddy, I'm a F your brother. Like, women don't like that. Women don't like that you're trying to come in our space and screw to women that you're trying to screw their man. They don't like that. And he was he was too big and too loud. Big folks, excuse me, I gotta say this. This white teacher said in the movie, you can't be fat and mean. Oh, fat people are designed to be jolly. You can't, you are whatever had that white woman, she whispered to that girl, so listen, you can't be fat and mean. They're not laughing at you, they're not, they're not laughing with you, they're laughing at you. You can't, like, whatever had goals, he need to be nice. When I think of fat people, I think of Google, something jolly. You know what I'm saying? Let's go out, eat some cotton candy. Let's go get a, 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 a good old buffet, a Big Mac. But mean and fat, that's a problem. And you got on nails. And you got on women's drawers. And he got so comfortable in the straight community. He started wanting to twerk in front of the thugs in the strip club. They went to the car or to their waistband, got their pow pow, and they touched him outside. And it's because of the weight that protected the, 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 the pow pow device from not hitting the artery because all that excess fat, he ate it up. He had about 55,000 layers to protect him. Because he's getting so cut. That's because that spirit with women, it, it jumped on. And now you want to start twerking in front of the man. And the man was like, oh, let me go get my Glock Glock. Boom, boom, pow, pow. His career ain't never been the same. He have always been a joke. Ooh. He will always be a joke in the gay community and the straight community. And you just wake it up. I hope Erica Banks, somebody just throw some ice cream in his face like they did Erica Banks. And she's a disaster. And that's a black woman. She had to, that's the block me. And you getting milkshakes thrown in your face, you dirty. Well, Wiley. Look, and you got a BBL. You shouldn't be getting no milkshake thrown in BBL your face. because of who, Wiley? I, I told her to do it. Yes. Unfortunately, as I look back to it years later, I may have should have told her, get the BBL and also the talent. <laughs> it looked like she took her studio budget money, her ghostwriter, Cardi B money, ghostwriter, and she spent it on her body. <laughs> like, you got to have the four package. You got to have your writers. You got to have the body. It looked like she took all the little 1501 budget that goes to her secret writers, and she put it on her body. And it's, did she suffer? She suffered. Now she on Love and Hip Hop, roll around with milkshake. I have to leave my label. I want something new. What new label signing you, honey? You well, my thing is this. She was doing Carl's in them bidding. Instead of fighting with Megan, she should have teamed up with her. And I think this is where a lot of rappers get it wrong. This is why I say male rappers will always be in demand because they work together even when they hate each other because they understand the bag. So now that some of the women, the new girls are coming up, they're like, look, I, I got to be like Drake on this. I got to be like Jay-Z. We know for a fact Drake and Jay-Z don't get along, but what do they do to make a hot song? I'll get on your album, you can get on mine. And, and it's harmonious, and they go about their day. We know for a fact a lot of people don't like Future, but what do they do? Future they work gonna make it hot. Kendrick Lamar said he don't even like that mumble rap, but when we hear "Miss Me with Some Boo," uh, we be like, Lottie, even Lottie, J. Lottie. Cole, he worked yes. with uh, what was that, Lil Dirt? Um, and made um, blockbuster record. Got a Grammy. 
got a Grammy. Sometimes you have to work with your opposite to flourish. So when I see people like Zell, I he's a stylist. He's supposed to be on Love and Hip Hop. But when I see a Saucy Santana, you're up here. You're not up there with any of the city girls. You don't have JT or Young Miami. He's supposed to be on Rolling Loud. What are you, what are you doing? Because they have they they have Sukiyana on Rolling Now. And she brought I mean, up OJ the Juice Man. Yeah. I like and I was so happy about Sukiyana. Uh, uh 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 they didn't know her song, but she came in the crowd. I, I was like, go ahead, go ahead, girl. Like, but Saucy career, it went yeah, down. Yeah. It just went down, down. He should have really been an ally to 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 little he just said nothing about black women's children. Yeah. The once you said something about blue ivy, baby. That was the, it. It was a wrap. It, it was it. It was and, and, and I'm so glad you said about Blue Ivy Couture Bay because remember when they called him out on it, I said what well, I he he got defensive didn't, didn't, didn't even apologize. Girl, you're not that it's that and be, and one thing I love about Beyonce, they don't seek, they just go behind the scenes and they sign Saucy Ryder, a material girl to Rock Nation. He and that's not. <laughs> <laughs> and you see Saucy in the kitchen, look like he had flour for some chicken, arguing with his man. Both of y'all bottoms. Who who's screwing who? I, I just want to know that. <laughs> this is an embarrassment to television. Just take it off the air. <laughs> Saucy, just retire. You lost. <laughs> You'll just come out better. Go be a used car, car salesman. You can't <laughs> even really do that. Just work at Popeye's. Hey, girl, material girl, we got the three-piece spicy, two butter biscuits. I'm steady. I'm in the streets. What do you want to order? Number four, five-piece. Like, that's it. Because his career is just over. And the city girls, they're even struggling, you know, considerably. They're, they're struggling right now. That whole group is just struggling. JT struggling. She, anytime, and I'm going to say this in my clothes, you're bragging about an urban chart on radio number one urban edit chart that means you just finding something to give you validation baby go on tour and i want to see how packed that tour gonna be and that's when you know that you're doing some in today music it ain't about the sales of streaming it's about who coming to your show spending them 300 dollars tickets or more that's where the money maker at for an artist. I want to see it, JT, because I feel like JT is just getting that Nicki Minaj fan base just to say it's somebody else probably because she's allied to Nicki. But in reality, them barbs ain't going to be flooding them shows like that. It's going to be small. You're going to be able to throw a foosball up in there and somebody's going to be able to catch it and ain't going to hit nobody. That's how empty that JT I, I, I feel like this. She has to celebrate them small victories because... Young Miami is out here making boss moves. She's getting booking. Like, yeah. people think go hosting clubs is just some small ticket. How do you think these baby mamas came up on the, on, on the network? How do you think the Jada Waiters mm. made it? And you make good money, too. Great money. And then you a city girl, baby. She getting flew from here to there. Her booking is getting paid. See, that's one thing she took from Diddy, Mr. Diddy Bob. Is how to get to the bag. And she's been getting to the bag. And I hate to say this, JT, I love that you want to do your own thing. But mama, do you have young Miami's work ethic? And you no. said it time and time again, you do not. And that's why she's running circles. See, some of the barbs, they, they only know broke behavior. You know, they, they stay in things and they don't understand dollars and cents. Young Miami is the one bringing in the most money. It don't matter if y'all not feeling her music. More people want to work with Young Miami than they do JT. And if they do work with JT, it's a collaborative deal. And she has to be willing to do it. And she don't. Yeah. She, you can and, be the better rapper all day. And if you don't want to work, you're not going to make no money. Because when you look at JT, you look at prisoner. You see a prison bay. You see somebody ghetto. They, 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 they talented, but they so hood. Young Miami is corporate. She know how to maneuver in this corporate space. And JT is sad, but young Miami is not talented compared to JT. But one thing that it is not, it's not about talent. It's the music business. It's that business part of your business together. Maybe you can just make as much money as somebody that can really, really, really rap and all of that. 
and that's young man. And then also she got, you know, that corporate podcast space. Don't nobody want to see JT. She's uninterested. She don't care nothing about nothing. Only thing she's thinking about how she can scam. She think about her <laughs> ugly boyfriend chasing after him. Think every woman want he gonna cheat on anyway because he telling folk that she ugly. Like she don't care. Young my and uh, just talk about how we got flued out. So who screw her? <laughs> she give these great interviews. It, it seemed like she's so like down to earth, like your homegirl JT looked like. Who I'm going to rob? You know, you got some people that look like they just will snatch your purse and your wallet in a second. That's JT. Don, what do you feel about it? Are we still talking about Oh, we talk about Santana and Zell, but we have to talk about his female friend. He stole their identity. He started talking like them, too. Of course. I mean, at the end of the day, I think we talked about um, uh, JT. On one of the uh, oh, other we, we did, we did. You know, but, she um, ready for her venue, a small venue too. And yeah, I don't know so, so give us three tickets. In my opinion, in my opinion, Bye. if she don't have a label and she independent, hey man, I don't. Every win is a win, like like a tour babe true. said. Because at the end of the day, uh, um, she gonna have to realize that she gonna have to get it out the muscle like Young Miami did. That's true. And I'm talking, about, I'm talking about out the muscle with her effort, like Couture Bay said. At the end of the day, you don't get nothing in this world if you don't work hard. Especially if you're trying to reach the height she's trying to reach. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's going to put half-ass effort in and get full-time results. It ain't going to work like that. Mm -hmm. She's going to have to she gonna have really back up all that shit she talk about. She's going to have to back it up now. Yeah, her back against the wall. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to see what it do. Especially when you're not in that group no more. You ain't got that group covering no more you just solo dolo we can focus on you now you really gotta have that work out i don't understand why people don't look up to nikki and, and do the work at the it's only one artist that i feel like is coming for nikki minaj's spot and nikki know and she's about to get dragged and that's ice spice like ice spice got the look she's light-skinned she got that what that type of hair uh that back in the day it's a hard lot like what was that movie with the little girl ann anna annie annie, annie. <laughs> She got the any hair, and she's very sneaky. She's coming for that. They're training her up to take that spot, and JT just don't have that. She don't have that. Like the, the industry have changed. Don and Couture Bay. It's all about social media now, and she just don't have that social media presence. If I was managing her, I would have to let her do as many different. E, uh, interviews with Don, with Couture Bay, with Tasha K, all of that. I would have to tell my client AJT, we going over there. We we gonna book you over there with Tasha K. Uh, 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 the wine, the wine is the new tea. Uh, uh, because we we got a product. And speaking about Tasha K, she put a vote out. Oh, she put out a, a thing on her show. She, she's watching the Wiley show or she's watching two man, the lady she's watching us because we criticized wanted the new tea said it was boring and dry. <laughs> and now she said, well, guys, everybody can't be Tasha K. So we got <laughs> y'all gonna have to do a vote and, and give them time. Y'all dragging my new show. Just give it time. Just with <laughs> so we're going to put a vote, get our best people. Like the first show was great. So just vote. So people post like my name in there. And if you're really sincere, Tasha, you don't even need to have a vote. You just got to be Vince McMahon and just book Wiley. All your problems will be an answered. Couture Bay, Wiley, and Pookie off the street. Anybody in that third seat, <laughs> do it. you already got the diet team, tag team there. So that's it. The people that she brought, I got to say it, the guy from Pangea Wash, the man is... He lost that Pandia check. It looked like he going through depression, anxiety, extreme. I, 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 I'm just going to tell you. I, I'm Which just... one is the one that lost Pangea? The one, the black man. That's the Pangea guy. The one, the previous episode, the dark skin guy. That's the one in the commercial. Set. It, yeah, there was a good and fresh. And the Yoni was so good and fresh. I'm like, what are you using? Pangea wash? That was that guy. But now the check is gone. Now he is a former Temptation member. He only been kicked out in the kingdom. He's struggling, and the personality is gone. He He's good when you give him a 30-second heavily produced with a script. 
You cannot get people that's trained like that. You got to get somebody that's off the cuff, no teleprompter. They got to deliver a show. You're coming in the footsteps and drinking the wine breast milk of Tasha. <laughs> so you got to be able, that's the mama. So you got to be able to bring that type of wine and that Tasha K type of spirit, not just like Tasha, but it's the spirit of Tasha. Do you understand what I'm saying? Them dry bone, weak beta man was weak, boring. You know that was boring. That's why you respond and put you to sleep. You have to come to the wildest show. We gonna wake it up. You, in order to take the wine is the new tea to the next level, you got to bring somebody on there that's not big yet because they corporate. That shake it up to make it mainstream. That's why I love wrestling. That's what I love when you get that independent, that new person, you train them up, and they become a mega star, and we just eat up the results. Because sometimes it's not it ain't good just get an established brand. It ain't going to work. You try. They all up there nervous. They don't want to offend nobody. I don't want to offend nobody. I'm just a big YouTuber with a lot of subscribers. I mean, you got to get somebody in there that's hungry. That's in the soup kitchen. They want to go to that next level. They're going to throw whatever's on the th 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 You got to have people like, did he just say that? I reminded when Stone Cold Steve Austin said, oh, just a 316 and Austin just whooped your ass. And the guy looked at him like, did he just say a scripture? Like, like that's the type of reaction you got to have when we watch it. Them people, it's constipation and <laughs> they need to take a stool softer because that personality is constipated. I'm sorry. I yield back. Did you like it when I was on the show? I love it when you was on the show. I love it when you when on, on the show. Sean Davy Way. Not necessarily. But Sean Davy Way need Wiley to antagonize him. I don't need your friend. When we on the air, we could be buddy-buddy, eat each other box off the air, just like a wrestling fan. But when we go on camera, I don't mean no harm. Producers, can y'all please fix his teeth? Like, no shade. Fix my eye. Now, I know y'all gave us a check. Now, the show is popping out. Give us a benefit package. Fix my eye, and he need to fix them teeth. I know you like white women. I don't know how only a white woman will allow you to eat her box with them teeth. I'm just telling you. Oh, oh. Have that, he gonna be offended, he gonna be shaking, and we gonna be battling. And guess who gonna be watching? The viewers gonna be entertained. Did he just say the what the that, 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 they're gonna be sharing? He gonna leave that wine is a new tea, go back to his platform because he's offended, and I'm gonna do it in front of all them people. You're gonna go back to his platform, <laughs> how you do work that raggly boo boo boo. Next thing you know, next week it's even higher rated. That's how you have to do it. You can't play it safe on the internet. Damn it, Tasha didn't even get what she got playing it safe. She did it by dragging Cardi, R. Kelly, Boo Boo, P, whatever she threw at the table. She drug everybody, including her mother, including her sister, <laughs> including her daughter. She used anybody as a storyline. To get what she got. She didn't do it by playing it safe, being politically correct. She was loud, sometimes wrong, but she was entertaining. Because when you talk to them winos like peaches, when she's eating in that back fried chicken and she love a double cheeseburger, extra sauce, she going to tell you Tasha K is entertaining. She is entertaining. And you know what? Since I've been over there, it is a lot of work, you guys. Like, and it do take a team to get to that that momentum to have that type of space. It do take a team, but I will say this: she is asking people to vote. So shout out to everybody that said my name on top of Wiley's name. That's awesome. Um, I I just bring myself, and I think a lot of people they're afraid. That is intimidating to be in front of people who will say, "Where is Tasha K?" Because they do say that in the show. <laughs> But you get but you have to ignore them because you, yes, you got to ignore that. I think I think I was the first, I was one of the first to open the show up with King Pain and King Jives. And when I tell you, we said a prayer in the back. So maybe they're not praying before they go. Maybe that prayer 
<laughs> they, don't need no, they just ain't got ain't no use you praying when you just ain't got the gift it didn't say your prayer will make room for you it said your gift some people just ain't got the gift Dumb. What no is, gift is just talking? working at amazon breaking down boxes being a barbara that's it stick in your ministry everybody ain't met in front of the camera that's the case everybody will be in front of this team Wait. Don, how do you feel about it? <laughs> yeah, about Tasha K? About the, the wine is the new tea. <laughs> I don't drink wine. Yeah, I drink it. Stella Rosa, it's the cheap one. Until they go up with that inflation hit it. That's Stella Rosa. And I heard somebody say, if you mix that Stella Rosa with some Hennessy, you'll do some things, do some things. So I'm going to try that with Nate 702 yeah, store bank in Vegas. So Stella Rosa Black and Hennessy. I might drink three bottles in Vegas. Put me on white as a new tea. I wake it up. Don't let me be a drunk, Wiley. We really gonna be on the show. It's baby. They gonna be begging us to come. Come nah, on, but, back. Nah, but for real, Tasha K needs somebody to to shake it up. Like at the end of the day, um, this is entertainment. That's and, true. And just like just like on the movie Gladiator, are you entertained? That's and true. if you watch that show, Wiley talking about, were you entertained? Yes or no? Wiley said, hell no. It was dry. <laughs> <laughs> I just was saying because she she even Tasha knows this. Like, come on now. It ain't hitting. That's why they keep saying where's because they bored. Now, if you ain't bored, you ain't gonna be talking about where's Tasha. You're gonna be like, Tasha, bring this person back. Bring that person yeah, back. But but you know what? I do notice this. A lot of people, they're good on their platform. When you go to other people's platforms, it's hard. Your your funny doesn't resonate sometimes. So that could be a thing, too. Because um, I'll never forget when I first got dragged being over here with The Wiley Show. The producers let me have it. And I still showed up. And this is why we're going to Vegas. Yeah, April okay. 26th through the 28th. And, and, because y'all my type of people, okay? You... You honestly, you just have to have a high energy. And I'm a believer. If they don't like it, they just going to have to swallow it because I'm going to keep going. Like, yeah. I'm going to keep showing up. I'm going to keep getting on your nerves. Uh, sometimes some of them get a little better. They'd be like, uh, because Horvay's here. And I'm like, I'm winning them over. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you have to be delusional in your thinking. And Wiley, you said it best. When you was over there with Michelle Atielian, you said I only got one shot. Like he was one shot. Team. I had to be me. I was ignorant. She's oh my God, the views of the feed of Wiley, not the views of I'm coming to get air by. And people <laughs> say, I didn't know you said because some people go on other platforms, they leave their they personality at their platform. They they went some went to Fox Soul when TS Master had a show, got canceled. They both left their personality. Armand sitting there with that leather jacket. I mean, you know, I'm famous and this is what's really good. T.S. Man acting like she Oprah. Girl, that's boring and dry. <laughs> if I was a producer, this is why you got to have somebody ignorant as a producer. I would have been like, cut! Bring me 40 pounds of a booty bump and 50 cases of liquor. And bring me some young, you know, escort men. I need to wake this up because y'all too uptight on this show smoke roll up snip snip let's have a show i'll be that type of producer it, it is about having a good show um i just think I, unfortunately i just think that you gotta just be you i just i don't understand why they not themselves like like sean david because you got and this is a wrestling you gotta have somebody that can antagonize that bring that energy out provoke me like i remember vince mcmahon and paul Heyman. they did a uh, uh, uh Ooh, a Hey. And 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 Vince said, just make me money. Okay. And then he talked about attitude. Attitude. You stole that from ECW, man. We were the first one that let got stone cold with a beer. He really went there. You cheated on you. You had an affair. You flunked your affairs in front of your wife. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Allowing people like a Paul Heyman to go there. Don't restrict that and strip that, allow him to be him because if you do, it makes it all greater. And that, that's my whole point. Because it was it, it made it, it made it so much realer. Yes. Because at the end of the day, think about what this man was saying. He was saying that 
the CEO of this billion dollar company is cheating on his wife on national TV. And you talking about this was the number one rated Monday night show for how long, Wally? For decades. decades. For decades. Time. Yes. And so the number one, I'm talking about that, the number one viewership. And for him to say that, and for us, you know, that you know, that's a curveball for the for the rational fanatic. <gasps> he said, What? Yeah, so we, that's losing, we losing it. Yeah. And, and, and we trying to wait till the next week. Now we're trying to wait to smack down. And then yeah. we're trying to wait till the pay-per-view. And we just trying to get, it's just like more, more, more. But she's not creating that. Yeah. And you got to be able to create that. You got to have the people and the mind, the minds, the collective minds together to create that, that almost, you know, real feeling that we know it's just like uh soap operas. Yeah. Uh, when our grandmothers and them was watching soap operas, they were talking as if this shit was real. Yes. My mother said, Victor we Newman. Have, yeah. <laughs> they would have whole conversation, whole debates about it. That's great. And that's why you got to get back to that. You got to get back. And when you're doing something that is live, you know what I'm saying? A topic, yes, but you still got to bring it. And it takes time. But some people just got it. Some, Like I said, some people don't. Like, unfortunately, those two brothers that she had on none against those brothers, they can sell some Pangea watch, but they can't sell a wine as a new tea. I'm sorry. Get some coochie spray. They probably can sell that, but they can't do that wine as a new tea. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Give him that bottle of coochie spray. You got some funky coochie. Let him sell that. Eat it by a good fresh. But they can't sell that show. I'm sorry. And I, and, I, and I say this and see, I'm so bold. I say it loud. Because I know I'm right. Because Tasha responded. Like, because I'm, re I'm reading the I don't even need to read the comments. I feel bored. So I know the viewers, they feel bored. when it comes They feel bored. They said in the chat, oh, boo, this boring. Where Tasha? <laughs> they just said in the chat. And then one episode, Bonnie Blue just had to just pull the entire show. Yeah, and it's a, she had to do all the talking. They didn't know what to say. They didn't know the subject. They didn't know. They didn't know how to fake it. They didn't know. They did not know. They did not know at all. They should have brought DJ Envy wife because she knew how to fake an orgasm. So you know how she can fake and pretend like she know the subject. She faked the orgasm with DJ Envy. She said in the book, I read the book. Do I got the book paused over there somewhere? She said, I've been faking it. He didn't hit it right. And I told her for years. <laughs> she faked it. <laughs> good looking. He thought he was hitting it right. It wasn't that good. She wrote that. They wrote it in the book. I read it. I was at work. I said, did she just say that she faked it? And she talked about how Man. long she faked it. And then Ooh. they got dragged. And he said, it was, it was so long ago. Baby, but the point is, you a liar. Because, baby, don't fake with me. You evil. Tell me day one. And he went crazy and tried to escape from the mental hospital. You know, DJ Andrew put that in the book. I know he probably said it on the breakfast club, but ain't nothing like reading it in the book. He said he went crazy. He escaped from the mental hospital. His wife got high. She, she it just, it was a lot. But my thing is, you got to know how to fake it. You got to know how to bring that entertainment for the internet. And I'm telling I talked about a subject about a woman cooking and I'm not going to eat your yoni if you don't cook. She posts on her Snapchat and she was cooking some um, chili. <laughs> now, I'm going to say that she's in a relationship. Hopefully, I don't get canceled for saying this. But anyway, she said, yeah, Wiley, because I'm not going to eat your you know, if you don't know how to cook. Yeah, Wiley, you see what I'm doing? She got a television. And then I snapped her and I said, I want to taste it. Not the chili, but okay. That's it. Because <laughs> <laughs> on Snapchat, I'm wild. I, you, you tag me in that. See, Wiley, you ain't talking about me. I want to taste it. Now, I didn't put the word. And if this ever come up for a lawsuit, according to my legal show attorneys, I do not recall this entertainment purposes <laughs> only. <laughs> okay. She's going to hit you with the Cosby. She's going to hit you with the Cosby 30 years later, Wiley. I'm going to be like Bill. going to be out here like Dan Schneider. Oh. Look, if, they're, if, if I offended someone, they're allowed to be offended. Yes. I I'm said gonna be, I'm going to be sitting down. They said when it's 31st, they went over that. I'm going to be sitting down with a couture bag. I mean, I'm so sorry. I really apologize. If you, if, if you feel that way, I 
apologize. If you feel I, if you think I did something wrong, I apologize. You know, <laughs> baby, you can't make this up. <laughs> Oh, I wanted to ask you, Wiley. Yeah. Do you believe the blind item about Onika Tanya Mirage canceling on New Orleans Monday night? I don't think she had no flu. I think she chasing her man. I think she's tired. I think she don't want to do this tour. This was all just a debt to be paid back. I don't think Nikki Hart is in it, but she can't do a tour and it's half done. She got to put on that facade. Nikki is tired of the industry. She just want to be with her pedo husband, SO husband, that non-talking baby, and live her life. But she didn't handle her business that correctly because when we talk about net worth, they don't really talk about Nicki Minaj's net worth like they talk about Cardi's. Have you noticed that? You don't see Nicki with deals with liquor, baby doll deals. You don't hear much about her business. And I'm hearing, I don't know if it's true, Couture Bay, but they said she have multiple liens. She have so many liens, five liens, 10 liens, 20 liens. And they're saying she's just doing this tour to pay back the debt she owed the company, the tour company, for canceling the, first, the other tour that was struggling. I don't think Char Hart is in this tour. I, I just don't believe it. I know the Ozipic is, 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 is Ozipic, like her body is snatched, but thanks to Ozipic. But other than that, I don't think her heart is in it. I just think she's just proving a point to put on this facade that she's really the queen. Her days as as uh, in the industry is almost over. She want to be with her as old husband. Like she want to travel with this man everywhere. <laughs> she just he just got her draws, and you know what I'm saying. I, it is what it is. She want to be with her non talking baby and and live her life. But my thing is, Nikki, you you the one that canceled the tour. So what? You couldn't really sell like that. Do it in the club. You know what I'm saying? Do it on PayPal. Whatever. Like, you made fun of Lil' Kim. Everybody ain't gonna be on top forever. But my point is, why are you talking about you having a flu? You ain't had no flu. Do you know Beyonce had worked with the flu? Jordan worked with the flu. The championship game, he had the flu. He had the runs. He still... When you a queen, you have to sacrifice you. It's just a little flu. Your husband gave... He snapped people yonis and he's still walking around. All, so you can handle a little flu. R. Kelly was performing with the bumps and every itching. <laughs> he still was out there. Uh, do you got your shots? Do you want to go to America? <laughs> America. Listen, America. I, want, I want Don to answer first because I want to be last when I say what I have to say. Go ahead, Don. <laughs> <laughs> Why? America. Like the background singles are singing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in Africa, baby, get out of Mali in the Congo. I'll go R. Kelly out of Africa. Man, please. I'll, I'll take Tasha K. Son. Come on, baby. You kid from this war. We're going back to the States. We're going to drop you off at your mama's house at the studio. But yeah, that was funny. That 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 just I'm gonna go watch that tonight. That 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 what them background singles is that. Go ahead, Don. I never even knew R. Kelly. So this is so this is a this was a song he or a commercial he made to promote people to come over. Oh no, he was performing in Africa. He, he was trying to get oh. young Somali. <laughs> he was it was a New Year's Eve out there in Africa, and he was trying to get the women. It was so. <laughs> That's R. Kelly. He's entertaining. I just hate that he all that. He said, is "Do there. you have your shots? <laughs> Do you have your papers, America?" And the background singers were saying, "America." Oh no, no, no! That shit remind me of one of them puppy commercials at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> But is what are your thoughts, Don? Is it Nicki Minaj lazy or is she really got the flu? Nah, man. Like, like what I said, like, this is the cover that, like, you, you, like, what we just said about JT. At the end of the day, this is a, I feel like, it, to Nicki's standards, this is a lack, this is gonna be lackluster. You know what I mean? She got a baby. She got a whole different life now. She got a whole, diff whole different set of priorities. You know what I mean? Like, she in the grown, grown up stage, like grown, grown stage. You get what I mean on her life. And so this is some shit she should have did 10 years ago. Mm. You get what I'm saying? 
when she still had the vigor and she still was like, you can still say you're yeah, Nikki that, you know what I mean? But but that lets you know, like, you think about the people who 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 are great at it. Bro, they tour every two, three years. Look at Beyonce. It ain't stopping. Since she since she went solo and since she announced her first tour, every time you think she ain't coming, she coming right back. It ain't stopping. She never, she never give you a chance to say, damn, where is I, you know, who is, where she been? Like, nah, she let you know. Like, nah, I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? And Nikki lost that mentality that I'm coming. I'm coming mentality. She kind of, you know, got fat and kind of, you know, did mother, mother goose thing. And she let Cardi, Megan, and all these people come and steal a lot of those barbs. You get what I'm saying? And once they converted, because remember, the barbs got younger and younger. You get what I'm saying? These are these are people who came after her that were younger, and the bar barbs got younger. They Nicki Minaj is afterthought now. You get what I'm saying? To the, I'm talking about to the young generation right now. How many kids you know? How many? Honestly, let's let's take a poll. I wish you could do a poll, Wally. Okay. To see the age group of let's say the age group of seventeen to twenty seven. That's gonna go to Nicki Minaj shit if she came to, to came to their town. Oh no, yeah, it's gonna be like it's pretty much. We're like talking about an older demographic of women who got kids, gotta find babysitters, gotta move shit around so they can go see Nikki. <laughs> right, I'm being real. Now, Ice Spice is more like my niece. She loved Ice. Spice. There you go, seventeen to twenty-seven. Yeah, she, like I, ain't ain't no way she gonna ain't that's the, that's what the generation that's gonna pay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna be begging their parents for that concert. Yeah. You damn right, and their parents gonna gonna make it happen. Yeah, and, and I, so ain't nobody trying to make it happen for Nikki, bro. No, <laughs> being real, just you know what I'm saying. So it just it just one of the things she should have she should have. This is what she should have did mm. if you wanted if she would have wanted to maximize on this opportunity. What Nikki Minaj, if you listening to me, just just if you listen to the Wiley Show, you watch this. Sweetheart, you come from our generation. What you should have did was did more intimate spaces, mm. ballrooms, and made that shit exclusive to where motherfuckers would clamor and almost, it's almost like a Mayweather fight or a Mike Tyson fight or a Super Bowl. I would have made every fucking little city a Super Bowl for that city in a, in a, in a, in a, in a venue that hold just enough for this motherfucker to rock. Excuse my French. You get what I'm saying? And so I'm talking about something like two, three times bigger than the House of Blues. Ooh. You get what I'm saying? Not too big like a stadium. Nah, we don't need a stadium. On some flow tree is. There you go. And it should have made it more personal to the audience. You get what I'm saying? Because the people who showing up is going to be true fucking Barbies. You get what I'm saying? So... That's what I would have did if I were Nikki. And I'm telling you, that shit would have been so unique for someone of her caliber to have intimate. It's almost who you Taylor Swift did it. Remember she, that shit? She did before the um right after the pandemic. There you go. So that she can get them prepared for there her you go. that made all that money. Because and Nikki could have did it gotta, that way. You gotta do, you gotta think not think small, but you have to think outside the box and i will always say you know i am a fan of Nicki minaj i'm a lover of Nicki minaj mm -hmm. i'm gonna go see her in may Huge. i pray she don't quit on us and, and and say it's the flu nobody is buying that and when i say nobody is buying it it's because she waited until yesterday evening to release a full statement <laughs> to say to say i i might come back in may might then they started opening it up to, to sell to the people, I guess, who got their money back or whatever. But my thing is, you don't have a date for May. I, I feel like somebody of her caliber, there's a certain level of professionalism. And it's giving me Adele vibes. Because, you know, Adele canceled all her stuff to chase behind the penis. Okay? And, and when you start moving <laughs> like that, you, you already warped. You're not thinking about nothing. And... I have a feeling 20 years from now, she's going to regret doing this because people don't forget. Wale canceled one time on me. I, I've never bought Wale a nothing. 
I, you you can't pay me to go see him. You can't pay me to go see Lauren Hill. And you're ruining your legacy. I don't care how much debt you're in. Show up for your fans because they're buying whatever you're selling. And this is why I say there's a problem with Stan culture because some barbs don't like to hear it. The fact that she waited hours, hours. You knew you were sick that morning. You just didn't want to do it. And, and that's my humble opinion about it. And if you didn't want to do it, you should have just taken the easy route out, which is file for bankruptcy. But, but your pride and ego, and that's another thing. When you don't have a solid team, and I've been saying this since the beginning, when you don't have a solid team, a solid brand, you're always going to listen to the guest man. You need somebody to shake you and be like, hey, girl, this ain't it. And a lot of people don't want to hear that because they make all this money. And this is how that bad behavior can go on and go on. And as much as I hate to say this, it's giving little Kim vibes. You're falling right into her footsteps. And there was a content creator who said, Nicki Minaj is the product of Eminem and little Kim, but she's more of little Kim because of her money moves. And at first I was mad when they said, but now I'm starting to see, yeah. Because Eminem would never allow himself to go into turmoil. He would do the shows, suffer through. Because what's the flu, right? We've worked sick sometimes. Multiple times. I know I have. And and you just, you power through. Is it, you think the barbs would have carried if she said, hey guys, I have flu-like symptoms. It's not COVID though. If it's not COVID and it's not the flu, it's a cold. New Orleans is not playing with Nikki. And what she's doing is ruining the relationships that Lil Wayne has with the city. Because one thing about New Orleans, we cancel artists. Ask young M.A. Look at her. Is she flourishing or not? No, she's sick. Y'all better find out somebody to play with. You don't play with the city of hidden treasure. All that old legacy. See, in New Orleans, we know our history. We know where we come from. We know where the roots start and end. Some of y'all don't even know your own history. And you, and you think you can play with the city? We don't let nobody just rock. Our artists have to perform mm. from the old to the new. You, you want If you can make it in New Orleans, you can make it anywhere because they are the most critical people on earth. Y'all think it's New York. It's New Orleans. That's why Young M.A. didn't make it. And they said, oh, we got something for you, Miss Mamas. So I just think it was very... It was nasty. It was very last minute. If she is sick, I pray for her. Hopefully Atlanta gets a show because New Orleans didn't. And, and they don't even have a date still to when she's coming to New Orleans to spin the block. And then also if she's on Ozempic, she could be constipated. Maybe some prune juice. Um, maybe a stew softener. You it know, makes you, it makes you constipated. They said it makes you constipated or of some of those type of you know things. If you don't, and then I was talking to uh, what Buffy posted this on Instagram. She said you got to eat enough protein, and you got you got to eat a good, well balanced meal because it will have you constipated. That's like one of the um the side effects. But I would say, do anybody have any prune juice? Um, you know, and um, she could have took a stool softener. We have any CNAs, any nurses on the side got some stool softeners? They in the chat talking her. about, dang, she can't get sick. She wasn't too sick to throw shade at me, meal. Yeah, so so my thing is, it, even if you is sick, at least that day when you get the flu, excuse me, you guys, some of the weather and blah, 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 say it to us on video. To Hello. me, you you go on video with no wig on, chewing ice, eating, etc. But now you do. Let's see this. You could do it sixty seconds. I need to see this. Just on to your fans. She also canceled <coughs> back when she was going to do her album with all the multiple remixes. She canceled on Chicago with the Winter Wonderland uh, concert, and people were pissed. They were texting me. They was, you know, Wiley. I, I traveled to Chicago, booked a flight, hotel, because you know you got people. I'm gonna go to Chicago, go see Nikki and blah blah blah. Go they were the pissed. Sky. Yeah, they, they were pissed off, and I'm like, this is crazy. Like, why is she doing this? And and I want to say this um, to 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 the Nicki Minaj fans: just bow out gracefully. Uh, what she did to uh, look him is gonna eat her up. She did it wrong. 
and it's it's eating her up. And now she's going to have, I hopefully she can learn like look Kim, cause look him learned her lesson. She said, okay, baby, I'm not going to be a top notch superstar anymore. I'm going to just get my bookings and everything like that. And I just talked with somebody about Kim with her book, something going on with the publisher. And I hope this is not true. Some she signed that the publisher don't want to give her no more money and she want more money. And she did not write all of it. She had a ghost. It's some going on with that particular book. And it's something with money. And my, but my thing is with Kim. Yeah. Again, you and your four, almost in your fifties, you making these bad in her fifties. And she's in your fifties. You can't handle good business. It's like everybody, this is your last point of your career. And you messed up with the book. Cause I'm texting people, I'm emailing people. I'm so not the book that's out selling the Bible. Is he right? <laughs> that's what she said with the pre-sales. Something with the publisher, she messed up with the deal, and it, that's why the book is not coming because they need Kim. They can't have a book out without Kim doing a press tour and stuff like that. But I'm just trying to get a copy of it. I can't get it from to save my life. I want to read it because I'm so thirsty. For that for Kim, but Nikki is the same way. She she's when Nikki should have her fashion line, she should have picked up for Rihanna. She, it's so much stuff that Nikki, she shouldn't be trying to work hard to be an artist. And that and that's, 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 for her. That, that's my thing. I'm like, who's in your corner? Um, <laughs> she, no, for real, because people are gonna tell us about all the brand deals she formerly have she does not have them now and and y'all can look up why she doesn't have them people it's a new time women are the ceo cfos ceo coos of these huge corporations now do they really want to work with a Nicki minaj is that something that is going to be lit nike said we got to hold off for a second because the jennifer hugh thing and there here comes make the stallion and they're like mm. We want Megan. And they waited until the trial was done. They found him guilty. They said, we want to work with you, Megan. Right? That's really why Nikki's mad. Because all the deals that were offered to her are going to the other girls. Anybody that knows anything about money knows in the music industry, the powers that be want all of it. So you have to make your money through endorsements, sponsorships, um, networking, right? We just saw Rihanna say, Fenty China, I'm ready to work with you. None of that rubs off. You are next. And, and this is what I said before about your favorite celebrity, Wiley. Some of these people be connected to the who's who's and still don't know how to flip a dollar. And to me, that is a shame because time waits for nobody. You can't say you're an icon. And then you're not making iconic moves. That's how I feel about it. You owe your fans because the fans made you. The fans made you. A lot of y'all like to take abuse. That's why you'll take anything from anybody. Absolutely not. If this was anybody else, they would be dragging. Am I lying, Wally? You're muted, baby. Sorry, sir. They they will be dragging really hard. Like Nicki Minaj is on a 360 deal. She don't own her masters. Um, and as a queen, you said about Beyonce, and Don said it, and a queen work hard to keep that status. And Beyonce is the queen for a reason. Snow, sick, or rain, Beyonce is going to deliver. I think people use that term queen so loosely. And it's disrespectful to the true queens that have been putting in the work. And Nikki have not been put. She have a very lazy work ethic. You got to put in that dedication, that work, and really put at it to keep that status. And that's why Beyonce, now she's like, okay, I did R&B. Now me do country. Now she want to do rock and roll. Now she want to do gospel. It's like she really working. So you would think that Beyonce came out this year. She still dominating going toe-to-toe -to -toe with taylor swift and taylor uh -huh. swift is younger and white and beyonce younger, is still, pressure. right it's still in the conversation almost three decades later 
She came from that era. Brandy was bigger than Beyonce when Beyonce came out. Yeah. Uh, uh, Monica was bigger than Beyonce, and 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 they don't even have that type of work ethic like Beyonce. Beyonce work ethic should be studied in every school, in every university, in every parts of the world. It's and, and can I say this, Wiley? The Go Destiny ahead. Child women, yes, they have an impeccable work ethic. Because baby, when they do something, they do it. They be in and out, in and out, in and out from Michelle. The getting work. a coin, Kelly getting a coin, let's play a lucky getting a coin. And, look, baby, and, and now she's <clears throat> excuse me, she know I'm not the best, so now she's trying to work behind the scenes. She got artists working behind the scenes now. I just think that, and because of the work ethics for Latavia, she's still able to eat because of the, the seeds that was planted in the ground, and she still get the benefit from it. Hello, so. For us as YouTubers, I even told myself when I looked at art, I said, I'm not working hard enough. Now I'm putting in more work, like really putting in more time and energy. Okay, I woke up to some good news on YouTube. I'm like, oh, this has like been the greatest ever because damn it, I, <laughs> I put in the work. In order to have that title, you the hardest working YouTube, baby, you got to work hard. Like you got to put in that result if you really, really want to be on people's radar. But the problem is people want the accolades of it, but they don't they don't have the work ethic. They don't have it. Like today, when when you hit me up, you text me, you was like, can we do it? You, I got vacation I'm going on tomorrow. I done worked eight hours. I'm at work. I'm cleaning, folding laundry, up there listening to my book, uh, uh, The Silent Eight. And I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm tired. I'm going to go home, take a nap. And, and, and wake up without we got on the phone. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to see you later. I'm still in the bed. But if you want the life, hello, you said you want this, brother Riley, right? This ain't you want this. You want to go to the next level? I need to see you got that next level work ethic. You can't have that that work ethic. You have have do it. Go loud when you feel like it. Do you really want it? Let me see it in your actions. Because if you believe, believe in that Bible, you said faith without works is dead. It didn't just say faith. It said faith without work. You got to have work in order for your faith to work. It's in there. So I don't want to think that you do it. I took a, now the old Wiley with that lazy work ethic, sleep, skip that. So I do it and five more days later I do it. I talk about something. So you got to change it up. It's the work ethic. And so, again, Couture Bay, to people that's out there, I think that Nikki, she shouldn't have to work as hard. She should have had better. Even look, Kim, I do feel sad for her because she have a daughter. She, her case of just bad music deals and bad business should be studied to avoid that. This woman should not be in no club in the middle of the night to pay her bills. <laughs> she should have had a fashion. When they see Lil' Kim, oh, this is Ludo Kim. The house of Lulu. She, she, every front row seat, look, Kim should be eating. Up. What Brianna is doing, that should have been look, Kim. Yeah. Years ago. I, I think she is iconic. And I think a lot of things should Absolutely. be studied. And um, it's arrogant, Leo. You said it right. You can be a barb and still call out the discrepancies that's going on. If we say Amen. yes to everything, it's going to lead. Our faves down to a path. There was people saying yes to Janis Joplin. Where is she at? In the graveyard. There was people saying yes to Jimi Hendrix. Where is he at? In the graveyard. There was people saying yes to Prince. Where is he at? In the graveyard. Mm -hmm. There was people saying yes to Michael Jackson. King of it. Where is he at? In the graveyard. There Elvis was people Presley. saying yes to Elvis Presley. Where is he at? In the graveyard. Y'all love to say, don't say nothing. We're, you're not a true... Someone needs to say something because too many people are saying yes. And if they're not in a grave, they're in a prison or they go broke. It took That's someone true. to tell Dionne Warwick, girl, you're not making any money for her to go, oh, my God. Mm. It took somebody to tell Gladys Knight, baby, you got an addiction problem with gambling for her to say, oh, my goodness. It took for Aretha Franklin to be like, you are an alcoholic for her to make that iconic most Selling highest me. selling gospel album out live you better for her to say, I have a problem, and she sang it in her sobriety. So please miss me with the oh, you can't say nothing because your faves when they wasn't getting checked, 
Woo! End up in the prison. Oh, or the grave. And where, where, where do you want them at? Come on. I want them here so I can continue to be entertained. And when you research successful people that work at the Zen there, baby, especially black, you really research Chris Paul. He put in the work. He used being a gambler, being playing dice and use that in the corporate business world, learning how to adapt, learning quick and everything. His father being on in the store, being a cheater. He learned that street smart and use it in the corporate world. They deal with him. And there he shocked the whole NBA system as one of the best, you know, agents ever to do it because he learned from that work ethic from the streets. And he developed that in, 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 in the boardroom. And I, if I were a deal too, I'd be leaving too for that too. Cause he looked like he good in the streets too, especially from the hood. What, what, what from Ohio? You from Ohio? Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland. Yeah, they know how to get it in, get it in, get it in. So I leave, and she from London too. She never probably had that type of black. That's urban type of black. That's different from the UK black. That, that's a different type. That's a different brand. So I, I leave, and Adele made a lot of money. This, this the town. Of, hey, 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 hey. Uh, what was that song? What was that song? Hello. Uh, uh, what? Hello from the other. Like, hey, this is the time. She white. She going to get another deal. She ain't no Tony Braxton. She ain't got no lupus. She just, Hello. She just had a little ping ping. She want that little ping ping era. You know, Chris, Bra Chris, Chris Paul got money too. I mean, he got millions. So, hey, I just think, honestly, for us in our clothes, I think Couture Bay made some great points. The barbs don't see me for it. They, they look. Like, I don't make any sense. They can't see my eye, my point of view. You know how they drag me up by my eye. Um, but I just get my opinion. I go to sleep. I, I don't care. Like, we gave our thoughts or whatever. Somebody went to Rolling Loud. They lost their phone. And oh, Loud, my, my favorite celebrity. You know, when you get high, you're going to lose that phone. You're doing <laughs> and snorting. They enjoy themselves too much. It was meh. Yeah, number meth, number number that did, and then lost your phone. Probably sold it to the drug man. Who know? I don't know. <laughs> you supposed to be so celebrity, so lit with security, you losing your phone. Why Fox Soul ain't got you know security guard? I, I ain't gonna talk about. It. I'm taking a little detox of talking about him, but if I watch that story town, we talk about him for the next five days. But he did lose his phone because of the booty bump. You know, when you take a booty bump in one of them pods and, and that, you're going to lose something. Your draws, your dignity, and your cell phone. And I can guarantee you he lost a, a tooth, too. I can guarantee you just don't want to say it yet. Not a tooth. But we thank y'all for this Wednesday edition of Too Bad the Lady. I want to wish your vacation so well. I want you to have that Stella got your groove back moment. I want you to... You want me out here with a young man? I, hey, that's the best way to do it. Get you a 23 Houston Rocket. What, what, how much many points did he score? Like he been scoring great ever since he's been taking that Drea, that Cougar, baby. The skills the the, the, the three shots been three shot, as they say. Uh, but I wish you well. And then you're gonna see us both, you guys, in Vegas, April 26th to the 28th, in which I am excited. I was talking to Nate, he's excited because that's his hometown. Um April 26th or the 28th, we're going to link up at the Palace Station Hotel Casino for all my people that just want to see me and don't want to do nothing. You can go there at the bar or we will find another place where if you want to go to a restaurant and stuff like that. So that's why I prefer you all text me, start emailing me. This is my number. You can call me. Uh, and text me when you touch down in Vegas, 972-674-9462. You can reach out to Couture Bay and myself. We're going to be in communication uh, with each other. And so we can link up. We ask that you please bring money. Um, do not come with no money because you will be dragged and embarrassed. Uh, because, you know, don't come there. Oh, I left my card at the hotel. Well, okay, go back. Go get it. Don't eat. Don't even eat. Don't even drink no water. Don't they charge for water in Vegas? You know, so uh, I, I can't wait to see y'all there. I can't wait to party with Couture Bay. I, I will not be sloppy drunk. Because the reason I don't want to be sloppy drunk, because I'm hearing some bloggers going to be coming and they're going to be having their cell phones. I cannot be sloppy drunk. Listen, this is a grown and sexy event. I don't care who brings what. Just make sure you bring your funds because we're not paying for nobody. We're not okay. paying for nobody. Um, 
this this is not a pay to see a thing. A couple of people have asked me. I don't know who in these YouTube streets is telling I, y'all to pay to see us, but it is free. You got to pay to yeah. get there. Hey, yeah, I got to pay to get. Yeah, somebody told me that. You got to pay to get that. We're not charging. See, they don't want to see us win. Why they, they don't want to see us. They, they pick up these lies and they just be saying, we never put an amount. Pay for your flight, hotel, and bring your money. We just link it up in Vegas. This is not our live show when we on stage. When we on stage, we will let you all know. It's going to be vendor sponsors, commercials, going to be all that. But this is just, we just meeting up. We, you don't have to pay. You just have to have your flight, your hotel. We're going out to the club and stuff like that. This is going to be iconic because this is two chocolate people, and we're going to be taking over, bringing Chocolate City to Vegas. Um, and it's going to be fun, fun. It's going to be fun. And a lot of YouTubers, unfortunately, they don't want to meet their people because they want 3,000 people to show up. Good luck with that. But I said, we're going to do it now. Build that foundation now. So in the next year or two, we're going to be selling out theaters and all type of stuff, venues and, and everything like that. Then I'll be able to twerk on stage. Ooh. Twerking on stage because I'm gonna have to go get a twerk coach, though. I don't want him to violate me in his house like they did Drake Bell, though. I don't want that, but I need a twerk. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be careful with them coaches. I just, I just came to just be just get coaching. I, 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 I just came to host the party. Yes, I, I want me a twerk. Just teach me how to it, it, it can jiggle. Don't be trying to take my honey bun. <laughs> listen i love it thank y'all producers i will be having a blast i'll be thinking of y'all of course i'm gonna make the haters mad because the hating holes in the back could never yeah. go on a vacation they could never with all them subscribers all that money they don't want to got so health long. issues they got cavities they, they got the bum okay. bumps they out here losing weight rapidly looking like thinner <laughs> losing, so, cell, losing cell phones and stuff like but i will say this so i'm just doing because we want to have fun i haven't had a vacation in a long time like i want to see my oh, people I'm ready for Vegas. you know what i'm saying i want to i want to have this moment there's so many more things that i want to do in the future with couture bay and that's why i'm glad that we work on two man and a lady because i felt like it's a great vibe and shout out to we trying to get north carolina b to come through the ba the baddest blogger to I come know. through uh, because that will be a, 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 a great, a great look. And we have reached out. I've personally have reached out to other YouTubers, but of course they all say a no, but that's going to shift because now they, now they looking in the stories be like, Oh, okay. Well, will you go wait for these other people that's on Fox? So, cause he ain't going to bring you with you, but you, you stand in line and wait while you stand in line. We traveling. You, you going to stand in line cause he ain't going to bring you out there. You don't have the aesthetic look. It's a certain look. You got to have a body. You got to have the product of the booty bump mm. and the liquor. And you got to be attractive. And it's a certain type that he like. Look at his boyfriend. When I go to L.A., I'm going to talk to his boyfriend. That's his aesthetic. You can't be breathing heavy, ragged teeth, nappy hair, dingy and dirty. You ain't going to with that crew that he got. But anyway, I can go there. But I love you. Can do it back. I can't <laughs> wait to, to, you know, to smile and eat and party. I want to leave that limping. <laughs> okay? That's how much party I'm doing. I want to be on the play with the way. You can call me Whitney. Call me. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh, like, since, you, since you did a Barb song, let me do a song for the, for the, for the, for the, for the Queen Bees. <laughs> oh, all she want to do was party. Buy everybody at the bar Bacardi. Yeah, Black Barbie dressed in Bagari. I'm about to leave in somebody's Ferrari. Ah. Red light, that's what a real mom do. Keep it gangster. Look out for your people. Ah. <laughs> ah. I want to be able to be able to do it. Oh, like ah. well, we gonna take over. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, Ooh, you love look. Okay, okay. This, this was hits. You can still play them hits. I love that song. Um, a lot of uh Queen Beers, the Queen Bees, they do not like the jump off, but I like the jump off. I like the jump off, yeah. She was like, Oh, <laughs> she was like I oh <laughs> <laughs> when you get into look him, look him was great music. Back when she had a back end, look, Kim can go. By herself, no. She need guidance. 
But oh. to jump off, I'm gonna listen to that when I get off the air. <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm yes, you gotta that. play it on your station head when you go live. Tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna play that. I'm definitely gonna play that on uh, station here. And Katie Talk One on One will be there too because she lives in Vegas, so she will be there yes. too. So yeah, so I'm 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 excited to link up. Nervous because I'm always nervous when I do something new. Um, and it's it's good to have that. That's human. And I'm I'm going I'm going to have fun. It's needed. It's needed. And you know stuff about social media, so I'm not really a social media person. Like going out, I, I don't know, you know. But we Listen, gonna we everything gonna. Everything wasn't going out. Some of it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We love y'all so much. Little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. Two man, a lady. Thank y'all. Thank you to Don. I know he was booked and busy. And shout out to Gerald, um, North Carolina B. Um, uh, we're going to be back next week. And you have a good time for your vacation. Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait to see your story. And y'all can follow me on Snapchat. And uh, after show, it's going to be on my station head. While my chicken is in the air fryer, and we're gonna um, play some hits. And thank you, Don. Thank you, Couture Bay. Thank you to the two man and lady uh, fan base for y'all coming in the chat. And I know y'all gonna drag me again. I know in these shorts, because the shorts, it goes down on them shorts. <laughs> y'all gonna drag me for Phil. Y'all drag Couture Bay. Sometimes y'all love Couture Bay. Then they hate like, Yeah, then the next day you hate. Like, that's the internet. But we'll see y'all then. Thank y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.